Hey future nurses, my name is Bobby and I'm the Director of Marketing here at Nurse Hub. Welcome to our grammar question of the day. For more questions just like this, head over to nursehub.com and sign up to become a premium member. Once you're a premium, you will gain access to 7,500 plus practice questions, um, in-depth answer explanations, and score reports that will tell you exactly where your strengths and weaknesses lie. All right, let's jump into this. So today, we'll be working on subjects and predicates. One thing you'll need to have a solid understanding of is sentence structure. Today, we're going to practice finding the complete predicate of a sentence. But before that, we're going to do a little quick review of the basic parts of a sentence. How does that sound? All right. The simple subject is the noun or noun phrase that is the person, place, or thing doing the action or being described. It does not include modifiers. All right, moving on to the complete subject. This is the person, place, thing, or idea that is doing something or being described, including all of its modifiers. The simple predicate is only the main verb or verb phrase of a sentence. The complete predicate contains the main verb, escaped, and all the words after it that tell us what happened in that sentence. All right, does that make sense? Let's move on to the question of the day and see if you guys can figure this one out. All right, today's question. In the following sentence, which is the complete predicate? The large fluffy labradoodle across the street escaped his house this morning. So we're looking for the complete predicate. Is it A, across the street, B, his house this morning, C, the large fluffy labradoodle across the street, or D, escaped his house this morning? All right, so right now, if you want to um, pause the screen, uh, pause this video, and take a moment to think over this, uh, then we can move on, and I'll go over uh, the answer explanation. Good luck, guys. You got this. Take a moment to pause right now. All right, the correct answer is escaped his house this morning. Let's go over that into a little more depth. All right, like I said, the correct answer is escaped his house this morning. The complete predicate contains the main verb escaped and all the words after it that tell us what happened in the sentence. To find the complete predicate, you first find the main verb or verb phrase. Then you must include all of the words after the main verb that tell us what happened in the sentence. And uh, a little side note here to give you guys a little helpful hint. If the question had been asking about the simple subject, the correct answer would have been escaped. All right, now let's take a look at um, some of the other answers and why those aren't uh, necessarily the correct answer to pick. All right, so one of the options was the large fluffy labradoodle across the street. This is the complete subject. The complete subject is the person, place, thing, or idea that is doing something or being described, including all of its modifiers. Moving on to the next answer explanation. Um, his house this morning. This is part of the complete predicate because it includes information that tells us what happens in the sentence, but it does not contain the main, the main verb or verb phrase. The predicate must always include the main verb or verb phrase. This, all right, the next answer is across the street. This is part of the complete subject. The complete subject includes the person, place, thing, or idea that is doing something or described in the sentence, including all of its modifiers. All right, guys, great work today. Let's keep, um, let's keep going. So to review this, let's look at the sentence one more time. Sorry, I gotta cover up his this dog's smiling face. All right, the large fluffy labradoodle across the street escaped his house this morning. So the simple subject is labradoodle. The complete subject is the large fluffy labradoodle across the street. The simple predicate, escaped. Complete predicate, escaped his house this morning. All right, great work today, everyone. So if you want more questions like this, head on over to nursehub.com and sign up to be a premium member. That's going to get you access to over 7,500 questions and a full-length video uh, course for uh, the grammar section. Good luck, guys. You got this.